Uh, we talked a lot about trending uh, technology uh, with Web3 and uh, FinTech. Uh, so that brings us to the next question about the trends in investment. We know that you are part of an uh, exclusive community in Switzerland of global peers who are uh, ultra high net worth entrepreneurs, investors, and wealth creators known as the Tiger 21. So we want to know a little bit about Tiger 21 and, and more uh, from you. We want to know uh, with your experience with the community uh, within Tiger 21, what kind of investment trends are, are you seeing? Uh, what are the areas that you feel will be the most lucrative ones in the next few years? So I should always say I don't give investment advice. <laughs> um, and that's as a, as a caveat, let's say. The, the biggest topic in my observation on people's minds uh, within the Tiger 21 community as I know it uh, are the geopolitical risks at the moment. And uh, we don't need to look far to see those risks, be it uh, Russia, Ukraine, be it Middle East, uh, but also uh, uh, other uh, geopolitical uncertainties. Um, and those, um, those uncertainties, they, they press heavy on people's decision making, um, which make people very cautious. Uh, i.e. Uh, investors are have difficulty committing to investments. That means that they keep uh, assets in cash, um, hopefully in a not so inflationary environment, um, or go to uh, old trusted investment strategies such as real estate, uh, although that's of course an interest rate and inflation play. Uh, but also gold has been rising, of course, i.e. people have been investing in gold. Uh, and even Bitcoin, uh, of course, has attracted attention, even though that uh, serious uh, old school investors, if you will, uh, will not easily uh, commit allocations to, uh, to crypto. Um, and so um, given the fact that the world is entering a stage uh, uh, of some more uh, difficulties, it means it will mean that some companies will not be able to survive. And that means that for those investors who invest in distressed assets, there will be opportunities. So the cash which uh, investors keep at hand, uh, they will be able to deploy it to those strategies where companies get into trouble uh, without any reason uh, for themselves, i.e. Uh, based on geopolitical or other uh, macro uh, events. So that will be uh, opportunities. Now, there is, of course, no lack of uh, investment opportunities, i.e. there's competition for, uh, for money. And so I think that also pockets of uh, within emerging markets, uh, be it in, uh, in this part of the world, in Asia, but also in Africa, uh, will be of interest. Uh, Argentina is going through uh, um, a, a deregulation experiment as we speak, so people will be watching that as well. Um, so I think within different asset categories, there will be pockets of opportunities. Uh, but as I say, with the big geopolitical risk overlay, which is uh, prevalent in all investors' minds.